featuring Young Stunner and Blackie. It's 6.52. So he didn't make it on Friday on the show. And after my morning, KO, I forgive you. I completely get it. I nearly didn't make it to my own show. I literally arrive on the show like a guest. I'm not the guest. Here's the guest. This one. Oh, my goodness. Can you bereave? So he's telling me that if you spend enough time on TikTok, mm. by now, you would be tired of the song. I'll Hello, 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 hello. Races gang, races gang. I feel like mine aren't moving anymore though. Is it? I don't understand what's going on. Like they've just been like this for months. I was I was watching one of your most hilarious videos that I've seen, uh, <laughs> the recent ones. Mm. You know, you do the weirdest things on your TikTok <laughs> and on your social media. So this one, if you don't know Alfie, he's this hilarious guy now recently with braces that just shoots the most random things. And it's gay yellow bone, yeah, it's a dude, I'm sure you know him. So this one, that you say, Abeko Otimbege Zela and Jenga. No, but honestly. Because of the slow shedding stuff. No, but like, Terrible. let's have that conversation because yeah. like, no. From two to six. Yeah. No, it's wild. And all of us are just like, it's wild. Too lily. Everyone's yeah. just like. Mm-mm. I was in the sheds from last night, from ten in the evening till half past two in the morning. Oh, yes, are so cute. The sheds. The yeah. sheds. Hey, hey, we've made it so cute. Yeah, I, I was in the, in the sheds. sheds. I was in the sheds. I was in the sheds. <laughs> sheds. <laughs> See, Team Beggar Zella, we've now accustomed, like, it's our thing now. Yeah. Like, I'm the sheds. Love it. Sure. So, uh, what do you do during load shedding? I nap. We spend the guy load shedding. We gel like <laughs> <a> Zella guy. <laughs> no, um, I think I, I try to make sure that my devices are all charged up so I can yeah. just keep pushing. The one thing I bought that I'm so proud probably like my mis- most prized possession this yeah. year is a UPS converter. I mm. broke mine. Oh, my word. I like that thing because now. Like I just plug it in And yeah. then ear last And then I, I can still do my stuff So that's very weird My relationship with the UPS converter I got so frustrated with mine I literally picked it up And I tossed it And I said I don't deserve these things I don't understand So during Why would load you shedding you find with your UPS though? Na yet, na. I, I'm on okay. a UPS After you use it for about four months Yeah It doesn't last that long Really? In the first four months It'll give you maximum duration Of a lifespan oh, no. Right? Oh, then after that You plug in your laptop This thing is dead Oh no And it's permanently in the plug Nothing works Crazy. Nothing works Nothing works So I'm hanging out with Sipom Kwanazi yeah, well, That's you right yes, that's An me. actually mm. educated human being This is quite interesting He's a former head At South African National Parks Can you believe it? <laughs> you went from head of Former Ndonto National Parks To head of comedy <laughs> Jury <laughs> <laughs> Or like that Or, or like, that. That. Or like and that And also like you're one of the most Beloved on uh, Moja Love TV Uh huh yeah, you are, right? Part <laughs> yes, of that family. Yes, yes, our, yes, family. Yes. our family. Yes, our family. Our family. Uh, you graduated in PR and the digital space at Vega. Yes. This is absolutely incredible. A lot of people Thank look at you. funny people and people on social media and they're like, oh, well, you're just funny. Just jokes for a living. Just jokes for a yeah, living. This one laughs. was too lazy to get an education. <laughs> you're actually educated. So why did you choose entertainment? Um, the first question I ask myself is, if not now, then when? Yeah. Um, number two, I've always thought that if you are good at something, um, especially book smart, you can always make your way back into corporate. Yeah. You know, you never exhaust being in corporate. But yeah. um, if the spotlight and the limelight is on you right now for you to share your gift with people, then why not just take the leap and do it now and get it over and done with? When did it hit you, though, that actually I'm more than just a, a nine to five? Last year. Last year, so I... No, because you went boom, right? Yes, You're also like one yes. of those people that look like an overnight success. Yeah. yeah. Um, I enjoyed what I did at Sandparks. I mean, regional head of comms, it was great. Um, yeah. It was an amazing job. I got to travel, got to meet people. But I realized, ah, man, I'm not doing what I really want to do. Like, I just want to work with people, more people, and put smile on faces, yeah. you know? Um then I decided, nah, no, no thanks. Then in March, I was like, all right, guys, here's my resignation. I'm not coming back. And there was no safety net? There was no safety net. You there just decided, no, boom. There's no trust fund. Yeah. There's no apartment. <laughs> yeah. There's no apartment yeah. waiting for me. I still have to pay for my car, all of yeah. that sort of stuff. Nothing got repossessed. I even hid it. Yes, I even hid it from my mom. It's like, good. I didn't tell my mom for a good, like, five to six months. Yeah. Sure. Um, and, like, when she found out, she was just like, 
I know. I know we are at this point. <laughs> 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 the day of resignation. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, Anna, let me just show her because I can do it. Mm. Um, and only when she finds out, she'll realize, oh, you've been doing it all this while. Okay, mm. do it. I think that's wise, though, to release yourself from the pressure, of right? Course. Just keep it to of yourself. Course. Yeah. Because you know, Bati, you can build in silence and still build nonsense. Exactly. <laughs> in silence. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always safe to also protect our parents because they come from a different era. Yeah, that's you know? true. But young, she'll pass the was you past Johnny to come yeah. do like what the hell is that you know yeah, so yeah and when did TV happen for you TV have you happened? been auditioning while you were no past Johnny? no 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 so I was approached um, my first show is on a beautiful um, channel and they gave me gospel comedy uh-huh. All right, and um, oh, we can gospelize, we can comedy and gospel we at the same time. We can comedy and gospelize because I mean, you know, I'm not necessarily. Rebecca Malouf has been doing it for a while, though. She has, yeah, she has. She, she's the queen of it. <laughs> no, she was born to do it. Yeah. My, oh my god! <laughs> so, um, I think she was trying to be funny. But I don't I think she was trying to be funny. I think she's just one of those. Sarcasm, yeah, man, and she's born for it. <laughs> she's, she's just yeah, that lady. She's just that lady. Yeah. So, um, they approached me for a show and they were like, "Hey, listen, you'd be the perfect fit for this." Because you also incorporate music into like the stuff that you do, so let's let's do this. And then um, we recorded the first season, uh, and it was amazing. It's on Saturday, um, I was seven. Yes, you got beautiful hands, mm. well groomed nails, you. super you. clean. <laughs> nearly looks like Drake's hands. You know, sugar <laughs> hand. You literally have hands that look like Drake's. Really? I don't want to lie to you. They're uh. Jewish hands. <laughs> Oh, he's thank so you. clean thank you so and much. you're so soft spoken i am you're I'm softy. actually very, i'm very shy in person um like i'm very reserved yes i am oh, very shy so in person <laughs> don't so give me that look <laughs> no you're gonna get a lot of these from <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest i'm the sweetest sort of warm up but once yeah. i'm warm then you'll see me dance on the table well beautiful you're starting your day on 959 and we do thank you especially for today arriving here earlier than the host this is wild (laughs) never been done before it is top of the hour 659 we're headed to the news desk with Nossi it's 11 minutes after 7 I'm still hanging out here with Alfie getting into the character of Alfie on the social and digital space did Alfie find you or did you experience in digital content yeah well, rather, your experience in digital content yeah. help you create. So Alfie. Alfie's also always been around. <clears throat> yeah. If you met Alfie in primary school, he was Alfie then. Um, so you've always school, been Alfie. I've always been. You've always been Alfie. this character. Just always been this character. It's just that he's got random people, opinions. Yes, and thoughts. yes. So people are only seeing it on social media, and I've always been this person. I think I come from a family of Alfies. Yeah. I come from a circle of friends of a lot of Alfies also. Yeah. So yeah. I always say this, Uti. Um, I'm actually not the one who's supposed to be the most hilarious. If I were to give my friends TikTok accounts, it would be a mess. So you're also one of those funny people that declare that they're not the funniest in the greater scheme of things. Like it's wild. Do kids love you? Um, kids, Kids love me, but I am really like, I have a phobia of kids. I think kids are terrorists. I think kids are scary. I really, I go. As is most deaf brown sugar. Thomas was losing her marbles over this one. You love it, no? I absolutely love the song. It makes yeah, me feel like I can hear Bob. Yeah, yeah, she's <laughs> rapping it like word yeah. for word. And like aggressively yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. At some point, I thought you were going to sag your pants. I was like, yeah, we're going to see this. She's in. She's in. She's in. Niggas, you know? Give me some more. You know what I mean? Car 959 on the street on the air. His name is Alfie, content creator, as well as a TV show host. And right? MC. And MC. Mm. Absolutely. We were talking about this just now, now, off air. Yeah. Um, you, you, you were at uh, the All White. Yes. Yeah, and you yes, MC yes, that yes. very, very well, actually. My first time experiencing you was at the very first one yes, where we yes. interacted. The one in May, well. The one in May, yes. I think it was in May. Yes, 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 yes. So um, when it comes to the digital space, mm. right? It's a very commercial space, but for many content creators, it can be somewhat a limited space. Now sure. follow my trail of thought in that, you know, after a while, and this is a quick while, mm. right? Um, a new favorite always takes yes, over. There's yes, always a new yes. Alfie, so, you know, who, mm. who sweeps us off our feet mm. in humorous whatever. Mm. Mm. And um, it's just so oversaturated now with so many new faces mm. and so many new talents. Mm. 
what are you particularly using the space for while you're such a big hit are you commercializing yes definitely co commercializing on it but the biggest thing about social media and the digital space is knowing how to position yourself yeah so when you use that wave of you being in everyone's face that is when you need to start tapping into the areas that you're most interested in. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I've always loved uh, TV, yeah. um, being a talk show host and all that sort of stuff. And I position myself in that direction. I am completely in love with MC. Yeah. Just being in I front of people. I see it when you do it, yeah. You know? Being in front of people and just handling a crowd is my thing, no matter the magnitude, no matter the type of crowd. So I then started positioning myself in that. And, um, you know, we've been getting bookings like crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, it needs you to be smart. You need to be focused and know, it's okay, this is what I want to achieve with mm -hmm. my wave. Mm -hmm. And constantly just you know grow and re-evolve as yeah. the times go yeah and you were on the red carpet recently at the summers yes how did oh, it feel being seen you will experience that yeah. was mind-blowing for me because i was like what the hell yeah how am i gonna do this yeah um doing live links on tv was just phenomenal was it and exhilarating think, was it your it first was, time doing live links was. yes yes it was my first time doing a live link and i mean the summers are you know one of the biggest music events in the yeah. country you know um, with a lot of political attention around you them, know it, that you makes know them that even bigger exactly yeah um so you just know you only have one shot at it and you have to execute it well and i think we did pretty well at the summers you did you did are you a perfectionist i, I am a capricorn are you a capricorn i am a capricorn oh my gosh yeah you are you yeah that's deep. i am a capricorn and a that's jan deep. capricorn the toxic jan, ones. oh you're, my gosh yeah. you're the overthinker right <laughs> yes you yes, overthink yes, yes. things into existence, Everything. even things that possibly don't yeah. even exist. Everything. And I think in worst case scenario, all the time, worst case, like right now, I'm expecting somebody to open fire. I don't trust her. I don't. Like I, The person who's shooting you? Yeah. I. Mm -mm, this is... How yeah. do you not trust Cheryl? Cheryl's the sweetest person under She's the sun. She's already shooting. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Will we ever see Alfie singing? Um, in yeah. his career um, you know what I think that um, the Alfie brand just mutates itself like an amoeba you know yeah. it, it, it does what it's comfortable with it does so when I when I MC you will definitely hear me sing um, but to actually make it a thing let's see what happens because sometimes in your clips you, yeah, you just throw, throw a vibe there ba, 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 ba. Yeah. and there's there's something there a bikinyana, a no, there's a lot there. No, you're, you're giving us bikinyana, but we know there's a lot there. There's a lot there. And your favorite piece of content as Alfie or the one to date that has received the most love? It's always when I impersonate my mother, Umam Sposh. Can we hear? People love Umam Sposh. She's the one who um, was reprimanding me from my nights at Gonka. She was like, actually, as this sipo, it behavior yako, more than anything, is what annoys me because it's Dima Somdin. It's my concern. Because when you have a lady, you take a bucket of your savannah there by the conquering. And then you want to come back here and you can't be a child in this house. You are lawless. So <laughs> people that, love her. Mom because, speak like that? Yes, my mom speaks like that. She's actually soft spoken, but get her mad. You or my mom she goes will go at it. Oh, my God. Are you still scared of your mom? I am still very much scared of my mom. Um, there are some things that she does where I'm like, okay, ma. No, yeah. let's yeah, yeah, let's calm down. But um, she really inspires a lot of my content. Oh, that's a lot good. Of it, yeah, oh, that's good so. to have like a genuine source of inspiration, yes. right? Yes, yes. So it's yes, not yes, like yes. superficial. Uh -uh. Da -da 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 -da. No, it really is, and that. it's constant. Yes. So every time, like I would, be, she she can call me after this interview and be like, "Yes, <laughs> udi well, I love yeah. that. I really love that for you. Now, I want to move to the DMs, babe, because you're quite a cutie. You're quite a hottie. <laughs> See, with those Jewish hands of yours. Yeah. Superbly clean. Uh -huh. It's either they're Jewish or halal. Somewhere there. But those hands are haram, just... Haram, haram. Haram, haram. Arfat, bach, maharat. There, he lezo zanza lezo. Salalim eleko. Salalim eleko. <laughs> oh man, and we, we say this completely respectfully, you know, because we do know how sensitive yes. certain members of society are. Your DMs, are they popping? They're not. 
I don't know. So this is what happens, and I think this is what ha- is happening to me. Yeah. People think because you're good looking, your DMs are always popping. Yeah. Um. So they just choose not to DM you. There's no Ben Tens there. Ah, uh, there's nothing. There's no women there's taking no, chances. There's no. There's there. no one. There's no Cougar. There's no Ben. There's no nothing. There's nothing. It's quiet. There's nothing it's in your DMs. It's the Kalahari. It's the Safari. <laughs> it's every desert Pongbon. you can think of. Man, you know, vula. Ma, literally. Uh, vula, vula, there's not a. Eh, na how vula. That blush is so dodgy. That blush is so dodgy. Never trust people that say my DMs are dead. My DMs are dead. There's I a human being words. that is being protected yeah. in this answer, my and I shall respect DMs that. My DMs are literally, they are Queen Elizabeth. Oh, there wow. is nothing going on. Your DMs are Elizabeth. <laughs> There's nothing going on. Oh my gosh. You're so hectic. You're so mm-hmm. hectic. And what is the incorrect assumption people always make about Sipo based on Alfie? I think people expect um, to bump into um, Alfie when they see him. So they expect me to be my crazy eccentric self. Um, but when I bump into people, they actually get so surprised. With, you're actually quite like you, you're yeah, reserved yeah. and shy, you yeah. know? Because when I record my content, I'm usually in my tub or I'm in my bed, you know, I'm literally just chilling. So it's just me. I don't have an audience and I record a video, put it out there. But when I bump into people in person, I'm just like, whoa. Okay, Sun mm-hmm. <laughs> But you are like that because I remember yeah. when I met you for the first time. Yeah, yeah your greeting was very yes. almost like cautious. Yes. And then I get on stage and I'm like, I think it's a different beast altogether. <laughs> yes. Do they not assume anything about your sexual your, your sexual orientation? I, I, I get it a lot. Yeah. I get it a lot. Is and it I an never assumption get... or do you just ignore it? My I just it? ignore it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's it, it is what it is. You yeah. know, I do what I do, and yeah, I, I, I am who I am. Yeah. So I really love it and. I love navigating around it. Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I do with it what I want with it. Yeah. You, you seem to be a very interesting person, Alfie, because, you know, you've got all these big plans for yourself. But also another thing that we know is that, well, some of us, mm-hmm. you know, that know, you're very shy to shoot your shot. You know, so what's your plans um, to get into radio, finally work with Trevor Noah, maybe? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I, I, I think I, when I want something, I go for it. That's Shyly one thing. Shyly or aggressively? Um, it depends on how badly I want it. Okay. Um, and I think that some of the things that I really want and that are mine come to me. They just gravitate themselves Beautiful. towards me because I call them to be so um it depends so when i want something one or two okay this one i want to be a brat about i definitely go for that aggressively but if not i'm just like ah my figures will figure at the right time yeah mm. at the right time and today was the right time thank you so much for starting okay. your day on 959 Thanks. like i love you <laughs> i love I you i just do i just do you're you're such a sweet person thank you you're such a genuine human being wish you all the best with all your endeavors your plans and thank everything so else much. have a beautiful day further thank you you too oh, you guys look beautiful happy Relax. mommy happy happy mommy to you. <laughs> <laughs> behave <laughs>